Hi, Redeemer. Donovan here. Um, I'm sure many of you heard it is Monday night that Governor Reynolds issued a new uh, proclamation regarding the pandemic coronavirus uh, situation, which is increasing in Iowa. And we've had people, you know, everyone right now knows someone that has been infected, it seems. Um, uh, but particularly, I want to just do a little bit of work here, working through the actual proclamation. Uh, I want you to know the pastors at both campuses are going to be meeting this week, Tuesday in Cedar Falls, and next week, Monday, in Cedar Rapids, uh, just to readdress our approach to masks and what that looks like at Redeemer. Um, we don't know what's going to come of that. We'll have a discussion. We'll consider all the uh, implications, com complications. The place to start is what is the government requiring of us, asking of us. And so I'll post a link, um, include that in this email. Um, if you're just watching this directly on YouTube, check your email. There'll be an email that has the video and a link to the uh, proclamation. What are they requiring? Now, certainly we could do more than is required, and that's a fair discussion, and that's part of what the pastors will be discussing. Uh, but the place to start is what are they requiring? So again, I'll post that in a link. You can read the whole proclamation. And when you pull that up, there's a section headed use of masks or face coverings indoors. Section 4, and here's what it says. Uh, pursuant to Iowa Code, this and that, it's got a lot of language. Here's the, here's the relevant point where they start with the requirement. All people, two or older, so it's two years old or older, must wear a mask. Okay, when? When inside an indoor space, right? So not walking around outdoors, inside an indoor space, that is open to the public, so not my house, um, and so you're in a place that's indoor, and you are within six feet of individuals who are not members of your household, All right? So you go into an indoor space, you're within six feet of individuals who are not members of your household for 15 minutes or longer. So... Take, for example, Sam's Club. Unless you're hanging out with someone who is not a member of your household for more than 15 minutes, this does not apply. Now, Sam's Club could do their own thing, for sure, and they can require more. And that's, that's fair. And they have the right to do that. I just want to be clear on what the governor is saying. You must wear a mask if you are inside an indoor space that is open to the public, and you are within six feet of individuals who are not members of your household for 15 minutes or longer. Okay? Also, it says this. This requirement does not apply to the following. And then there's a list of well, eight, nine, ten exemptions. The, some of the usual stuff, which is medical conditions and things like that. But section four... E and F pertain particularly to religious gatherings. E, any person giving a religious, political, media, educational, artistic, cultural, musical, or theatrical presentation or performance for an audience. So the, the worship band or the preacher. F, so section 4F, any person participating in a service at a spiritual or religious gathering. So, that's all of you. So, there is no mask mandate from the governor for religious gatherings. That doesn't mean we can't require masks, and we'll, we can have that conversation, and we will. Um, but again, the first place to start is, what is the government asking? Because I've had messages and questions from people about compliance and um, with governmental authorities and I just want to read it and 
And at the bare minimum, right, that's the low bar is compliance. Um, <clears throat> and then you go from there. So there's that. There's later on, you can keep scrolling down on this um, proclamation and you get to section six, which is headed gatherings. Here's what it says. So section six, a indoor gatherings of more than 15 people prohibited. It gets into some details. Section B, outdoor gatherings of more than 30 people prohibited. It gets into some more details. It starts going more specific into section C, sporting and recreational gatherings. D, high school sponsored sporting and extracurricular events. And then E, spiritual and religious gatherings. It says this, spiritual and religious gatherings including any funerals or weddings, are not prohibited by this section. So, Governor Reynolds and whoever is advising them in this, this is what they have declared. So, again, we there's a lot to consider. And this is not easy or fun. It's not. I'm literally... Not happy that when I sit with my elders to talk about the church, this is what we are discussing. I get it in the sense that it is the reality in our culture and it is adjacent to a lot of things like um, health and public perception and all kinds of stuff. Um, but I'm saddened, particularly by the degree of polarization that can enter a conversation like this. Uh, from regarding something that's not, you know, a biblical mandate. Like, you know, we could get into, I want to sit at the outer table and talk about the Great Commission and how we make disciples and planting churches and helping marriages and um, all, all kinds of stuff. I wouldn't have imagined two years ago, obviously last year, that this is what we'd be discussing. And uh, But it's here. This is the day the Lord has brought. And... Uh, the reason that we're going to gather again as a church, as a, as a pastoral team, and have this conversation is because we are listening to the members, and we are listening to the members of the, PT, of the pastoral team that, you know, want to have this discussion. So we're going to have it. And, um, but just to be clear, what is the government saying? And again, that doesn't mean that's what we have to do. We can go above and beyond that for sure if we think it's wise and the right thing to do and we feel convicted. And we... And, uh, and, and we'll see how that pans out. But just wanted to, um, I know some of you read read these things in full. Some of you read articles. Some of you just read posts. So I want you to know what the literal proclamation says. So there's my part in just kind of walking through it, highlighting relevant portions, and you can go on the link and read the whole thing. So I want to encourage a spirit of grace and understanding this is difficult. And uh, I've been making phone calls to people who aren't gathering with us right now, who are strictly gathering virtually. I want to hear them. I want to know how they're doing and what their challenges are. And we care for you. We This is not fun. <laughs> so be in prayer for the pastoral team for sure. And um, that we would... Oh gosh, have wisdom and uh, and have unity. Yeah, so feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to talk with you and hear your thoughts. All right, see you soon.